Hey everyone, this is Fender7019 bringing you another tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to stream your party chat from your Xbox One to Twitch TV. Now, you know, a lot of people will have had a lot of trouble with this, but uh, now that Windows 10 came out, it is super, super simple. Now, first things first, open your uh, OBS, go to settings, and make sure your audio your desktop audio is set to default okay that's all you need for OBS right now then you open your Xbox app and I'm assuming you've already signed in and you know you you've been able to stream and everything else so this you know this isn't like an app tutorial this is just for the party chat now you want to make sure you're not in a party on your Xbox one you need to leave any party you have on there and then come up here it says start a party beta you need to click that Okay, I'm going to lock it just in case. Now what this did is this opened a party on Xbox, okay? Except I'm, you know, streaming the audio right here on the PC. And uh, you can mute the entire party, you can um, mute yourself, um, you can click on, you know, a friend, and it'll show whether they're in a party or not right here, and it says joinable, so you can click it and join, whatever. Um, and you can also invite, which I'm going to do now just to prove that uh, the chat does stream through. Hey Jack, can you hear me? Yep. Hey man, say hello to YouTube. Hey YouTube, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's proof that you can stream party chat through OBS and your PC. Um, Jack, I'm going to go ahead and hop out of the party. I'm going to finish this tutorial up, and I'll hit you up in a few. Uh, see you later, bro. All right, so that was that. I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's just right here. Super, super simple. Plays through your um, desktop audio. As you can tell, it was kind of low there, but uh, if you just tweak uh, your volumes, like uh, there's some gain options in here and also through your uh, desktop itself. And, um, you know, it just takes a little bit of tweaking, but then you'll get it and everything will be good. Uh, if you uh, have any comments, please post them below. If you have any questions about this setup, uh, feel free to ask. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.